This video is about esterification, the process of making esters. We can make esters from a carboxylic acid reacting with an alcohol. The conditions we need is we need a catalyst, H2SO4, concentrated, and heat. Okay, quite often it's just done in a test tube inside a beaker of boiling water. Here's the ester that is produced in this case. All esters have a C, double bond O, and a single bond to an O on the same carbon. That's what makes an ester. This molecule here is not a ketone. Some people confuse that because they just look at that section, but the, having the O attached changes the properties of the molecule that make it an ester, not a ketone. You also produce a molecule of water when they react. So carboxylic acid plus alcohol makes ester plus water. Some people have problems drawing these ones and working out what the shape is. So it's all about the water that comes off. Every time you make this, think of the OH from the carboxylic acid being removed and the hydrogen of the OH of the alcohol being removed to make H2O. And what's left, you just join together. So this oxygen joins onto the carbon with the double bond O, like so. And that there is the ester functional group. What is here and what's here is irrelevant. Okay? As long as you stick to this simple rule each time, you'll always be able to draw the resulting ester. Okay, so that's the ester functional group to look out for. You might have to spot it in a question maybe. So don't confuse it with a ketone or a carboxylic acid. A carboxylic acid would have a hydrogen here. An ester doesn't, it has another carbon. Okay, so when we name them, we, we always name it, the, the bit that goes first, the start of the name, comes from the alcohol. So in this case, we can see this must have come from the alcohol because it's got a carbon single bond to oxygen, no double bond O here. So this wasn't a carboxylic acid originally. Two carbons, it would have been ethanol, so the start of the name is ethyl. And then the part that came from the carboxylic acid, you can tell that because it's got the bit with the double bond O. It's got one, two, three carbons, so that's propanoate. It would have been propanoic acid, so you call it propanate. So it's ethyl propanoate. Okay? It doesn't matter which way round these are drawn, I could turn this molecule around. That bit will still come from the alcohol, that bit will still come from the carboxylic acid. So if you looked at the one we made at the beginning, here, this section came from the alcohol, only one carbon, so that's methyl. This section came from the carboxylic acid, so it's, in this case that's ethanoic acid, so it's methyl ethanoate. So even though I've drawn it the other way around now, the alcohol going from left to right on the right hand side of the, uh, of the structure, it's still methyl ethanoate because that comes from the alcohol, that comes from the carboxylic acid and that's the way we always name it. We take the alcohol, so methanol, change it to methyl, we take the carboxylic acid, in this case ethanoic acid, we change it to ethanoate, so it's methyl ethanoate. 